Happy Mail Queen. So I'm doing a tutorial today um, per your request. Uh, the last time I shared my bows and my tassels and some of you guys wanted to know how I created them so I, I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial for you guys. So first of all you're going to need your material. So um, for these bows and tassels you're going to need some either some vinyl okay faux leather or you can even use and in the past I've used this um, this is uh, canvas which is glittery canvas that you can buy at a very cheap price I think they're like maybe a dollar fifty at Hobby Lobby okay and where you want to get the the material like if the, you're gonna get this one this is about uh, eight by eight and a half by eleven size and it's in the section at Hobby Lobby where they have foam sheets, um, felt, I think felt sheets, okay, and um, well, you can ask somebody who works there, but that's where I get mine. All right, so let's go ahead and do the, let's do the easiest one first, which is the vinyl bow. Okay, so to make a bow, you can either use a die, in which case, as I've shared before, I had used this die here. And so I'm just showing you this because this is what we're going to use um, to make this bow here. Okay, and then of course the tail. So we're going to make this bow using vinyl. Okay, now vinyl is a little bit thicker. Um, than the other material that I showed you. So we're going to go ahead and use some scissors. So you're going to need some scissors as well. Um, and when we create the tassels, you're also going to need um, wire cutters. You're going to need um, round nose pliers, a ruler, and a chopstick. Um, you know, or something similar to this, like um, maybe your paintbrush, you know, handle. Um, and I'll show you that later when we create um, the bow, a different kind of bow. So right now we're going to make this bow right here. Now, I realize that not everybody has a bow die, okay? So um, I'm going to show you how to make also a bow uh, without a die, okay which comes out like this and I think it's still super cute you can add a tail here if you want just like this one but I actually like it just like this without a tail okay and then we'll make this tassel alright so first of all to do the leather bow I've already cut my pieces using the die okay so let's just go ahead and do this one first and then I'll show you the other way to do it. Now, when I assemble this, I actually like this part here a little bit um, more narrow. So I actually cut mine like that. And this is just me. You don't have to do this, but for me, I it just makes it assembling kind of quicker. Of course, you also need glue, and I forgot to mention that. Uh, my glue of choice is Fabri-Tac. Um, I suggest you use some kind of a, a very strong wet glue because um, the hot glue doesn't exactly work on, it will work on leather or it might work on faux leather, but I find that um, Fabri-Tac is, is a better choice. And um, especially with the vinyl here, it's uh, hot glue is really not going to stick on this, okay, because I've tried it. All right, so you basically just assemble your bow um, the way, oh, and make sure you have something to clean with like, <laughs> like paper towel. Okay, let me see if I can squeeze this. So I go ahead and just put a little glue there. And you want to make sure, and I cut the edge there just because this is going to be the side I want. Okay, and I don't want anything sticking out from the other side. 
because then the other side is white, so I don't like that showing. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and glue the other flap or the other uh, side of the bow. Okay, and you are going to have to kind of hold this down. Now this glue is great because it's, although it, it can be runny, um, it's actually very tacky, so it is very thick. And therefore it dries faster than if you were to use, let's say, Glossy Accent, which Glossy Accent works, but it's very runny and it takes time to dry. Okay, so just going to kind of hold that down until that um, gets glued. And then you're going to take um, this piece right here, okay, and that's going to go around it. So um, what I like to do, because I like to put the jump rings on the side here, I try not to put too much glue on the edge, okay? I just put it on the middle, like so, okay, and then... Turn that over, put some more glue, and it does get messy with the fabric tack, which some people don't like, um, but I've gotten used to it, and it does come off your fingers. Um, you just kind of peel it off once it's dried, so if you don't mind getting messy, then I suggest fabric tack. Okay, and that's how you make your bow. Just hold that down for a little bit. Then you want to take your tail and you're going to also put a little bit of glue. I just kind of go across like this. Okay, and just turn it over again and I this is the best way I can center it. And what's nice about tacky glue or this fabric tack is that it does give you time okay to kind of adjust it if it's crooked because um, it doesn't dry super fast like hot glue but it does dry a little bit faster than like your glossy accent because it is tacky all right and see and there's your bow and then um, all I do is put my jump ring oops okay now this is I want to say this is either a 10 millimeter or a 12 millimeter jump ring that I have gotten from Michaels. It comes in gold as well, so you can do gold. Um, you want to put that through, through this part here. Sometimes you might need your tool. Oh, sorry, uh, you do need also a flat nose plier as well just to kind of push things through okay okay I got a little interrupted there but I went ahead and closed up my jump ring I'll just show you so I just put it through there and then I just closed my jump ring Okay, and then the part where it opens up, make sure you do tuck that in inside so that when you hang something, it will not fall off. Okay, and I hope this isn't crooked here. I think it's a little crooked just because I'm doing this really fast on camera. <laughs> okay, but that's how you would do it, and then you'd attach your tassel or charms, whatever you want. Okay, so that's how you assemble this. Now, if you don't have a die, there's an easy way also to do this bow here. Now, I chose this material because this one's a, even thinner and it's not as stiff as the um, vinyl, okay? And it's easily available at Hobby Lobby. For that bow, okay, all you need are scissors and glue and your material. Um, you're going to cut one and a half inch, okay, the thickness, by four and a half. So that's what your strip is going to be. Then you're just going to cut, you know, like a, maybe a quarter inch by one and a half inch or one and a quarter inch little strip, okay, for the middle part. 
All right, so what you want to do is turn it over, okay? You're going to glue You don't want to put too, too much. Just glue both ends, okay? And just find your center. I just kind of eyeball it. I bring both over and then I try to center it as best I can. And I just glue that down, okay? And I got this idea because uh, my daughter had a bow that kind of fell apart and I took it apart even further which is this bow right here I think it's a it was a hairpin and um, I took it apart and figured out how they made it so that's what I did okay so once you have the middle part glued um, this is gonna be of course where the seam is right there that's gonna be the back okay this is gonna be your front and you don't want any white showing, right? Once you actually um, scrunch the middle part, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. So what you wanna do is actually cut a sliver off. So you actually want to cut maybe that much off. Kind of just go at an angle like that. Okay, hope that's my camera's picking that up okay you want to cut cut a sliver so that when you turn it over you don't see that white part okay there's no chance that white parts gonna stick out so you're gonna do the same thing on the other side and just kind of you know unglue a little bit here on the edge because we already put our glue okay like that and continue to do the same thing on the other side you're going to cut a little sliver. See, it's already stuck, but you can still peel it off. So that's what I love about this tacky glue. Okay, and then do the other side. Okay, just at the back, okay? You're not doing anything in the front. Okay, like that. You're going to turn it over. This is where your chopstick comes into play here. You're going to put it in the middle. And that just helps me squeeze this back, okay? Actually, what you're doing is you're, you're folding this in like that, folding this back. You're taking this back and you're squeezing, if that makes sense, okay? So again, you're folding like that. Let's just do this. Let's fold this way. Fold this. Fold this back. Fold the other side back. Okay, and pinch. Okay, like that. Then, while the stick is still in there, you need something to wrap around. I use wire because um, that, that's what was used on that bow that I took apart. And you don't need a, a lot, just something to tie it with, okay? Maybe that much. Maybe just, uh, I don't know, one and three quarter inch. I will put this around. Okay, like so. I'll take my stick off now and then I will tighten it, okay? You wanna make sure that that's nice and tight. So you want that middle part, and I hope I'm in frame here, and I hope you guys can see me. Just go ahead and twist that, okay? Twist it and keep twisting so that it tightens that part. And then you can kind of shape it a little bit to make sure that this goes back like that, okay? That goes back like that. Okay, now your excess, just be careful that you don't poke yourself like I just did, ew. <laughs> you wanna just cut about that much off, okay? See that? Find my trash can here, and then just kinda 
flatten that out. See that? Sorry. You just kind of flatten that little tail part off. Okay, and there's your bow. Now you want to go ahead and glue that. So a little glue in the middle. Yeah. That is one thing that I'm not crazy about with the fabric tac it, it does. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm not like putting my my cap on, but normally I would just put this on so it doesn't seep, okay? But because of I have to work fast here, I'm doing a tutorial. Um, I'm not putting my cap on that glue. So go ahead and stick that and then put it around. Okay, and then you're going to glue the end and this end. And see, even if it's a little dry already and it's kind of tacky, that is still sticky. Okay, just go ahead and get your napkin and clean your hands in between. Okay, you're going to hold that down and you want to flatten it a little bit. Turn it over. And there's your bow. Okay, you want to just kind of fold that back a little bit, the flaps. You know, shape it however you want it, but um, I think it looks pretty great. Okay, um, cut any little frayed piece, and there you got yourself a bow, right? And then go ahead and take another jump ring. Okay, open that up. You can put it through again, through there before the glue dries there. Close that up, or you can use your tool to close it. And there you have it. You got a pretty nice bow without a die. And that's how this looks like. Okay? All right, so I'll come back and we'll make the tassel. Okay, so for the tassel, you want to cut a strip um, at one and a half inch by two and a half. Okay, so here's one and a half in width, and we're going to cut. I'm just going to measure it with you guys so you kind of know here. Two and a half inch. Okay, so two and a half. This is how I just kind of measure it. It doesn't have to be like exact, exact, but you know. Pretty close to it, okay? One and a half, one and a half by two and a half. And what you want to do is you have to make your fringes, okay? Now, if you have a die, you can try to use the die. It's a little thick though, since I'm using um, um, vinyl. You want to cut maybe about that much, okay, for your fringe. I don't know, what is that like? Less than an eighth inch. And I actually go all the way, not all the way through, but maybe leave that much in, okay? You don't want to cut all the way through, but you want to leave. So you just cut the strip. And if you have fringe scissors, I have fringe scissors. I have the Martha Stewart fringe scissor, but it doesn't exactly it's um, not sharp enough to cut through this thick material. Okay, so I hope I'm in frame there. So just keep doing this until you get to the end. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with fringing. So I've already made this fringe right here. Okay, and now we're just going to glue it. And the best way to do this is put a little glue here. So again, take your Fabri-Tac glue. Actually put glue since we're working pretty fast here I'm gonna put glue all the way all across the back of this and just roll it pretty tight though okay see that see that that's pretty tight okay so you're gonna keep rolling 
a little hard to do this. You can put it down and it's easier to roll if you're working with your desk here. I usually do the sitting down, but right now for my tutorial, I am actually standing up so I can actually see the camera. Just a little more glue here just to make sure that actually sticks in the end. Just roll it up nice and tight, okay? And don't worry about this glue because it does dry very, very clear. Okay, if there's any excess, you just wanna take that off. Okay, so you're just gonna hold that down until that focus. Let me see if I can focus, sorry guys. Wow, I don't know why it's not focusing. I hope it's focused, okay. Okay, so hold that down until that's dry. Sometimes I'll go ahead and clip it or, you know, if you have a, not a clip, but a, a clamp. Or I'll do this, <laughs> put something a little heavy like my scissor while I'm getting my beads ready, I'll do that. And my scissor will kind of just put a little weight on it and hold it and it'll, it will dry. Okay, so next we want to get our jump ring. I mean, not our jump ring, our um, eye pin. So you can use an eye pin. I made this one here, okay, because I didn't have any eye pins. All I had were head pins, so I just used the other side. So let's, if you don't have an eye pin, we can go ahead and make this. So let's say you only have a head pin or you only have some wire. Now you want a good gauge wire, like maybe 20 inch, I mean 20 gauge wire. You wanna take your round nose plier, take the tip, Let's see if I can go a little bit closer here, and take it and then roll, roll. See that? Okay. Then I stick it back in there, okay, and then I go back. And then you just can just kind of manipulate it and straighten it out, and there's your eye pin. Okay, and then since this is a head pin on the other side, I just cut that off with my cutter. Just be careful you don't cut yourself. Okay, and there's your eye pin. I just cut the head off. Okay. Then you want your beads. Okay? You have to string your beads. And we're doing this one right here. So, there's your eye pin. Okay. Next, you want the bead cap, if you're using a bead cap like me. Then you want your bead. And I'm going to put a rondelle in between this time here and then this bead cap. So I'm using two bead caps, okay? One is shaped like this. The other one is this one. And I got this from Amazon, okay? So let's take your eye pin, okay? I take my bead cap here and my bead, so whichever bead you decide you're gonna use. Let's use this one here. I also use Fabri-Tac, so I don't have to keep switching glue, so I put a little bit of Fabri-Tac on top. Okay, not too much, it's a little bit too much. Just to make sure that bead cap will stay on. Oop, I think I have two bead caps here. Nice. I didn't realize I had two here. Okay. Now I put my glue. I put this over like that. And then take your eye pin. I'm going to put it through. Okay. So that's the first right there. You know what? Um, 
I think this one's a little bit short, so I'm gonna take the longer one. Okay. Now from here, I would normally put my rondelle, but I think I'm not gonna use a rondelle after all because it's a little short. Okay, if it was a little bit longer, I would, but I'm not going to because it doesn't leave me enough of the eye pin to stick inside my tassel. So I'm gonna leave it like that, okay? Then you're gonna get your other bead cap. I will go ahead and put a little glue here so it actually will. And you can use glossy accent for this, you guys, if you want. Um, to me, it doesn't matter. This one dries faster. Okay, so, and it's tacky, so it actually will stay there while I'm getting my tassel. Okay, so that is how you make it. Then you take your tassel, which should be dry by now. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Well, a lot of glue, and maybe a little bit on the edge as well. So you want it on top. And this is going to go inside the bead cap. So just aim for the middle there. You want that to go all the way through. Okay, your eye pin. I hope I'm in frame here. Push the eye pin in all the way. And make sure that fits inside your bead cap. Okay, and then I would just maybe... This bead cap is pretty malleable, so you can kind of squeeze and squeeze it so that it actually sits nice over your tassel. Okay. So that's the only head pin I have, but um, I would use a little bit longer head pin if, if you could, or eye pin if you have it so that it'll actually stay in there. And you can't see, you know, that pin in there. It's only probably down up to here, okay? But you can go as low as down here. You won't see that head pin. And that's how you make your tassel. And then you would put a jump ring around here. Okay, um, I'm gonna use a smaller jump ring. Let's see here in my stash. Let's use a seven inch. Oh wait, that's a seven inch. Six inch jump ring. Open that up. Okay. Put that through the loop. And I would take a lobster clasp small one, a big one, whichever you want to use. Okay, hope I'm in frame. Lobster clasp. And then just go ahead and close that up. Sometimes it's easier to work with if you have two of these. Um, you know, one holds it and one closes it. Sometimes that helps. Okay, and there you go. Then I can connect this to my bow. And there you go. There you have it. Okay guys, I hope this was helpful and let me know if uh, if I was able to help. Leave a comment please and give me a thumbs up if you wish to and subscribe if you haven't. Um, I'm trying to do more tutorials. Uh, it's not the easiest for me to do but you know, a, lot, a few of you requested. Um, if I get enough requests, then I will do a tutorial just to show you guys, you know, how I create some things in my channel. And that way you can create something um, also, you know, and put your own twist to it. So, hope this is helpful and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.